Thank you very much for this opportunity for presenting here. I'm very honored. And I will present a case of uh, floral mimicry about an Australian orchid with the surrounding uh, pea plants. And this part of uh, my PhD project uh, between the Kyoto University and the University of Naples, Federico II. So we know that uh, uh, approximately one third of orchids don't produce any sort of rewards. The majority of them, they are food deceptive. So they um, falsely advertise um, the pollinator uh, with floral, uh, floral rewards. And we have two cases of uh, food deception. One is a more uh, generalized uh, food deception mechanism where, for example, this uh, an account is Morio, uh, uh, represents, uh, uh, resembles a general flower's image of the um, co flowering, surrounding co flowering species. Or uh, we can talk about the Batesian floral mimicry when uh, the resemblance is more specific, it, towards, uh, it towards, uh, is towards a model species. And here we have, we have an example of. Uh, this is a pulka, pulka uh, imitated uh, Watsonia lepida. Floral mimicry is based uh, on an interaction between a receiver and mimic and the model. And we have to satisfy some conditions for that. The receiver is an and the receivers are literally, literally unable to distinguish between model and mimic. And the mimic species has to be less abundant than the model species. And also the mimic receive a benefit for this resemblance in terms of uh, reproductive success. And also, um, a genus uh, hypothesized to be engaged uh, in floral mimicry is a uh, diurus. Uh, and it's an Australian genus of orchids uh, with uh, over than uh, 100 species and uh, 48 are found uh, in uh, Western Australia. And in particular, uh, is, is, um, this genus is supposed to be engaged uh, in the guild mimicry system, where there are more than one model species. What do we know about uh, the Uris pollination in Australia? So we have some uh, two studies of uh, pollination, pollination studies in, the, in Australia, in this uh, part of Australia. And one is regarding the Eurus maculata, where uh, uh, it's supposed uh, that the, the Eurus maculata is engaged in a likely uh, guild mimicry of a range of uh, egg and bacon pea plants, uh, manifesting a similar UV pattern with uh, uh, between um, the with the models, so uh, the mimic and the model are similar in terms of uh, UV pattern. And uh, the other case uh, that we know um, is uh, regarding the Eurus alba pollination, but in this case uh, uh, the pollination mechanism is more generalized. Which sense? So the flowers look like a pea flower, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, the color is not uh, the same to the other surrounding uh, um, co-flowering species. So in this case, uh, uh, the mechanism is more generalized. In both cases, uh, we, um, they are pollinated, these orchids, they are pollinated by native <coughs> bees, wasp species, and in the case of the Eurus maculata, is involved also the honey bees. Let's observe uh, the flower structure. So here we have uh, the Eurus magnifica, which is a Western Australian orchid, and the pea-like flower, and in this case we have uh, the Vesia bevaricata. And we, we can observe that there are some similarities uh, just in the flower structures, superficial <coughs> similarities. For example, the dorsal petal may correspond to the standard petals in the peas the lateral labellum lobe may correspond to the wing, to the wings uh, uh, in the pea flower, and the labellum seems to be similar to the keel. 
in our study, we set uh, some hypotheses uh, of uh, military system in the Urus um, towards surrounding peatlands. And these hypotheses are based uh, on floral mimicry criteria. We need to test it which kind of criteria were satisfied. Firstly, we look at the color and the morphology. If there was an overlap in the color and morphology between mimic and models. And then also we look at the phenology, uh, flowering phenology. We needed to test uh, if the mimic and the models had an overlap phenology as well. And also, it's important in the floral mimicry, one of the uh, fundamental criteria is that uh, the mimic and the model share the same pollinators and they manifest uh, a similar uh, behavior. Also, we need to test uh, if the reproductive success of the orchid was related to the presence of surrounding pea plants. And as well, if uh, um, uh, the reproductive success was related to the number of modern species flowers. So our study is focused in a biodiversity outspot in the southwestern corner of Australia, near the city of Perth. Yeah. And uh, is involved uh, this orchid, Gaius brumalis, which doesn't produce any sort of nectar. Uh, it flowers in July, between uh, July and uh, August. And uh, grows uh, in a habitat, in a Jara forest uh, habitat, with uh, eucalyptus species, and, and also it grows uh, in uh, another kind of habitat, uh, need granite outcrop, um, which is an open, um, an open shrubland. Our methodology is based uh, on testing uh, the floral mimicry criteria. Firstly, we need to observe uh, the pollinators on the orchid and the plants as well. And uh, we need also to document the sequence of attraction for uh, identifying behavioral patterns. And for attracting the insect, we use ex uh, arrays of orchid flowers because the pollinator rate uh, was very, very low. And then we needed to identify them. <coughs> so we caught them and we identified the pollinators on both uh, orchids and pea plants. And we analyze also the pollen coming from uh, the legs of uh, the tibia of the pollinators on the orchids for checking the food source plants. Finally, we centri we use a square for um, testing the reproductive success of the orchid in relation to pea plants. So on uh, 15 populations, we set uh, these uh, squares and we counted within how many orchids, flower, uh, how many pea plants, and how many pea plants, flowers, how many pollen are removed, and how many fruit uh, produce uh, on the orchid population. And we analyze them to a, a generalized linear mod mix model. Then we needed to measure the color reflectance and we converted in the established uh, B visual model. For testing the flower similarity, we, uh, we did a non metric multidimensional scanning of floral traits of uh, 20 co flowering species. For testing the similarity of the orchid, specifically with pea plants. And then we recorded the flowering period of orchid and pea plants in three sites. We measure also the nectar in the, the peas. We found that the Iuris brumalis grows with uh, these uh, pea plants uh, species, so, and uh, they have uh, an overlap uh, phenology. So the orchid has an overlap phenology with all of them. But when we look at our morphological uh, analysis, we discovered that um, the orchid, which is the uh, green dot, is closer to the uh, pea plant flowers in terms of similarity. 
based on these floral tracts, <coughs> floral traits we analyze. And comparing with all the rest of the flowering species. So we have uh, another evidence that uh, the, the orchids are simi much more similar to bee plants rather than the other co-flowering species. We found that uh, the orchids share the pollinators only with the Vesia species. So we found, um, and this is a trichocolectus, um, and native bees, very quick, <laughs> very quick and native bees that we found on the orchids and on pea plants as well. When we tested uh, the behavioral pattern, we discovered that on the Tabesia species, on those uh, pea plants, uh, the pollinators behave in the same way on the orchids and on the pea plants. In particular, we observe uh, uh, the, a particular category, uh, behavioral category, which is manipulation, which means uh, when uh, the pollinators um, try to open up uh, the wing petals in the bees, and they do the same behavior on the orchid and on the pea plants. Mm. Uh, so, and they do uh, in both uh, the species of uh, Davesia, the co-flowering species of Davesia. So this is, was another, <laughs> another strong evidence of uh, uh, deception based on the behavioral pattern manifested by pollinators. I'll show you a video. Yes. So, and also we found that uh, <laughs> the, these trichocolectes uh, were patrolling around uh, pea plants and also uh, the orchids. Uh, here we have the orchids. And they mm, manifest also display this behavioral pattern, which means uh, where they, uh, they are looking for females on the food plants. Mm. We didn't test it for this behavior, so we test it for manipulation because the patrolling wasn't, uh, um, um, Patrolling, uh, the insects uh, that were patrolling didn't pollinate the orchids. So we tested for manipulation. Here we can observe uh, trichocolectus that is pollinating uh, the pea plant, uh, the vesia, and also the, the orchid. But uh, during the orchid pollination, they realize that there's no nectar. So the visits are very, very rapid. And uh, in many cases, the attempt uh, to forage on orchids, but uh, they don't land because uh, they realize there's no nectar. <coughs> when we plot uh, on a visual bee model the mm, measurements of color reflectance, we discover that uh, the orchids uh, share and have an, an overlap distribution uh, of color loci only between uh, the Vesia species, and not uh, the rest, the other, uh, uh, the other pea plants. In the circle, we have uh, different uh, color loci uh, positions. That are the green ones are the orchid um, color loci, and the violet, purple, and brownish <laughs> are the, the Vesia color loci. We took measurements of different flower parts both on the orchids and on pea plants. And we saw that uh, the overlap is only between uh, the orchid, the Iulus brumalis, and the Vesia species. Then uh, we decided to, uh, to, to uh, our result about uh, uh, the reproductive success uh, um, showed that uh, uh, the reproductive success of the orchid in terms of uh, male fitness which uh, was, uh, uh, we counted the number of uh, pollinia removed. So male fitness is a proxy of male fitness is an indication. But uh, we saw that uh, um, when uh, the, the flowers of the Vesia are um, higher, so the reproductive success of the orchids increases. And as well, when the Vesia is absent, the reproductive success is almost zero. 
so finally concluding is this a likely case of guild mimicry <laughs> Yeah, the Urus brumalis uh, mimi, um, is a mimic of the Vesia species pollinated by native bees, Trichopolites. The mimicry doesn't involve any other uh, pea plant genera, only the Vesia species. Invol involving more than one model species, this is a likely case of uh, guild mimicry. And the most interesting thing is that uh, the Eurus plumaris can offer new insights in the Batesian mimicry, as is part of a complex, which is uh, the Eurus polymbosa complex, that is formed by different species showing similar color pattern displayed by the Eurus plumaris. Thank you very much.